All right. Hi, I am Kristin Bernison, and I will be giving you the hopefully not too long of a lightning talk about how getting uh, your notebook set up, up and running in TimeSketch. So uh, before we start, I have to say that lightning talks are really meant to be longer than the time limit dictates. So I'm going to be uh, making excuses before I start. I will try to keep it brief, but I am known to uh, extend my lightning talks to, to be a little bit too long, just to let you know. With that being said, uh, the topic of the day is how to get your Jupyter Notebook up and running. And before we do that, we'll start be talking about what really is a time sketch container. So the time sketch container is really just a Docker container that runs a Jupyter Notebook. Um, we build it on top of a Picatrix, uh, which you can see the link there below. Uh, Picatrix is, is essentially a, an open source uh, Jupyter container that contains some libraries, the Picatrix libraries, which provide you with a, a framework for uh, deploying uh, magics or helper functions meant to help analysts do analysis work. Uh, we customize this container for TimeSketch. Uh, as you can see, we even have a pretty logo. Uh, we add snippets with uh, help functions for you to start or working on your way through. Uh, we enable some uh, NB extensions and have templates ready for uh, time sketch. Uh, it also adds in as a, like the code snippets um, and we use the API client aggressively to connect to time sketch and do all the operations. The uh, one of the benefits of the time sketch container is that you don't need to really maintain your own notebook environment. You can just simply update or pull a new version of the container as soon as we build a new version and a new version is built with any every push request or any merge in the database in the code base. Uh, what is a Jupyter Notebook? For those who don't know, it's essentially a, an interactive Python shell um, that uses, in this case, the API client, as I said. So everything you write is a Python code and you can interactively run it. Uh, you don't need to know Python uh, really are not much Python for you to be, you know, productive in a notebook, but everything you know will obviously help. Um, and you can import every Python library in there and, and start working with that. The other question is why would you use the container instead of the UI? Um, first of all, it's just a very, very powerful tool to analyze time sketch data. Uh, we include in the library a lot of uh, different data science tools and libraries that have been developed basically for uh, ingesting and analyzing large data sets, which is what we have. Um, it it's really um, comes in, in, in play when you're doing EDA or you do like the exploration data analysis, like you're trying to look at your data, figure out what you got, um, doing some frequency analysis, or if you want to do some statistical analysis, then on a data set, then this is a really good way of doing it. it. All the data that comes back from the API client comes back as a, as a pandas data frame, which means that you already have the data in a format that is both really fast and supports a lot of the libraries and, and functions of, of the data science world today. Um, the notebook is a, a fully featured uh, UI, which is much more flexible than the other one. Obey, it will actually require a lot of manual work um, and it has a larger learning curve. But once you get past that, um, pretty much opens up everything you want. So some of the benefits of the container, as I said before, um, it is fully uh, feature compatible with the UI. Everything you can do with the UI, you can do with the API client. And, and uh, honestly, a lot of the features that we develop, we often develop them first for the API client. Um, and then we can test them there, uh, try them out, and if they work, we then port them over to the UI as well. Another reason is uh, my workflow is not your workflow, as in uh, UI by its very nature uh, is just uh, the user journey, so the use cases that we have identified that you want to do with the data, and then we have implemented it in a UI. So the UI basically enforces uh, some predefined workflows that we have thought of. If your workflow is not the same, or if you want to do something differently, uh, the UI can sometimes be a little bit constraining. 
Um, and that's where the TS container and the API client come in really handy because it really gives you the flexibility of, of doing really what basically whatever you want. Also, if you want to integrate it with other tools, um, like we saw with CSIS and the last presentation, um, the, the capability of, of importing or integrating with your tools or workflows uh, comes really in handy with the API client. So who would be using the TS container? Um, more or less, it would be power users of the tool, uh, people like myself who like to be liberated from UI constraints, uh, and, and everyone that I said want to integrate time sketch into their own tools slash automation workflows. Uh, the other good thing about the TS container is that uh, we use it a lot for uh, testing and experimenting with data before we write an analyzer. So before we write an analyzer, we can write all the code in a container, we can test it, we can see it works. And then once it works, we can just port it over uh, almost one on one over to an analyzer and then have it be uh, repeated over and over again for our investigations. So how do you set up the container? Um, first of all, if you use the development environment, it comes for free. Uh, but if you want, uh, there are five easy steps of getting it set up. And those are the ones that I'm going to go over right now. So the first one is to change the Docker config. Uh, so there's a file in the time sketch source code called docker slash dev slash docker compose. It's a YAM file. And you just have to copy the notebook section into a separate file. And you can see uh, you need to make slight changes there. Uh, first of all, if you're running this on your local box and it doesn't run the actual time sketch servers, you can just remove the link to the Elasticsearch. You don't need that. Uh, the other part is that you need to change the volume. Uh, there's a volume called slash that, that maps up your temp directory. And that path needs to be changed to something that's more permanent. Um, the reason is that this is the path that you store all your notebooks that you will create in the container. And you preferably want that to survive reboots of your machine uh, and other things. So that needs to be changed to a folder that can be uh, read or written by a user with a uh, user ID or group ID of thousands. And also, if you're running it on a Windows machine, you have to change it to a Windows path instead of a Linux one. So once you've done that, uh, all you need to do is to download the Docker image. And you can use Docker Compose to do that. You point it to that newly created file that you have, and you just pull the notebook. Uh, the next thing you need to do is to run the container. Uh, you can use the dash D, which detaches it. And at that point, now you have a running container uh, with the TS notebook already up. The uh, Nova container, because it's in the uh, development Docker config, already has the credentials to connect to the development instance, which is the local host on port 5000 to the user dev and password dev. That hopefully is not the case for your production environment. Um, so you need to copy your credentials and the config for it over to the container. And you can do that simply with the Docker uh, Docker CP command. Once you have that, it, it may be slightly more complicated if you have several uh, time scale servers that you're connecting to in your RC file, but it can be easily done by just copying uh, the, the various token files. So once this is done, all you need to do is now to profit and just connect to the log to your local host port 8844, and that will bring you up uh, with the notebook uh, in all its glory. To create a new notebook, you can just click the new button there and hit Python 3. That will create a new template. And you can see here the template is here. Um, since there's a lightning talk, I won't have really time to go and explore it or show you this. Um, please try it on your own. Uh, test it. Uh, give me feedback if, you, if something's not working or you need something that's not there. Uh, but you can see there's a, the drop down dialog there with the snippets. And you can click that, and that will bring you a few samples to get you started. Also, the notebook already has a few fields uh, that you can just execute and some hints there. So what will happen now? Uh, where, where are we taking this? So first of all, uh, we will be adding you both magics and helpers, uh, magics and helpers to Picatrix. And as soon as we do add them in, uh, they will be triggered up to the time sketch container. And we are trying to do that, uh, add them in to you know, help analysts with their job. Um, 
making some of these commands quicker and easier uh, and not as reliant on Python uh, knowledge to be able to be uh, to, for this to be useful. Uh, we will also add some new code snippets just to for people to see more examples of how you can use the API client and, and what you can do there. We are also going to make the uh, this container as a standalone container. As I said, right now, we've already added it to the development Docker config. Uh, that's mostly just as a proof of concept to show people that it's there, how it works, and, and give people a taste of it. We will then move it over to a standalone container uh, and have a script to, to deploy it automatically to make it easier for people to run it uh, on their own. And we are also hoping that we can do, build a much better integration between both the UI and the TS container so that you can jump between the two more easily in the future. With that being said, I don't think I have any questions. Don't have any time for any questions. Just throw them at uh, in the Slack channel or the chat, and I will answer them there. <laughs>